The 60-inch Lincolnshire is an energy-saving ceiling fan with the modern DC motor. Unlike traditional AC motors, DC motors use an integrated magnet to move the fan blades with more torque, all while using up to 70% less energy. The Lincolnshire features a four-blade design with a rotating housing that works great with modern decor. The fan is rated for indoor use and is remote operated. The 60-inch blade span makes it perfect for great rooms that are 20 by 20 feet or larger. The fan can be installed on regular ceilings, ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees, or low ceilings. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is 4 fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a step ladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. If you are installing the fan on a regular or sloped ceiling, continue watching for the standard ceiling mounting section. If you are installing on a low ceiling, skip ahead to the close to ceiling mounting section. First, turn off power at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Twist and remove the hanger bracket. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Feed the motor's wires through the downrod and insert it into the motor's collar. Align the holes and insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the downrod. Reinstall the hanger ball. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Align and slide the hanger bracket over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket. Turn the fan to align the groove in the ball with the tab on the bracket. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together with a wire nut. Combine the white wire from the motor with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the motor with the hot wire from the outlet box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Tuck the wires neatly into the box. Slide the canopy over the hanger bracket screws and twist into place. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four screws securely. Slide the canopy ring over the screws and twist to lock into place. The standard ceiling mounting is complete and you can now skip ahead to the fan blade installation section or continue watching for the close to ceiling mounting section. First, turn off power at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket and bottom canopy cover. On the fan motor assembly, remove three of the six collar screws. Place the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the screws on the collar, then insert and tighten the removed screws. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Align and slide the hanger bracket over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the hook on the hanger bracket. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together with a wire nut. Combine the white wire from the motor with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the motor with the hot wire from the outlet box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. 
tuck the wires neatly into the box. Unhook the fan and push it up to the ceiling. Align the canopy over the hanger bracket screws and twist into place. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The close to ceiling mounting is complete and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Attach the fan blade to the blade arm by aligning the holes on the arm with the holes on the blade and placing the medallion above. Insert and tighten three blade attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Install the fan blade assembly by inserting the blade arm into the slot on the motor. Then insert and tighten the blade arm screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Remove one of the screws from the mounting ring and loosen the remaining screws. Align and twist the mounting plate over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Align and twist the light kit over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Bring the glass shade up to the light kit. Press and turn until snug. The fan is fully assembled and the remote is now ready for setup. Remove the battery cover on the remote and install the two included AAA batteries. By default, the dip switch will be set to zero for universal operation. Simply restore power to the fan from the breaker and press the power button to begin using the fan. The fan will oscillate back and forth upon each startup as part of its calibration cycle. If you are installing multiple fans, set the dip switch to one for paired operation. Restore power to the first fan only and leave all other fans disconnected from power. Within 30 seconds, press the pairing button on the remote. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate the pairing was successful. Repeat the process for any remaining fans, being sure that only the fan being paired is connected to power. Power can safely be restored to all fans once the final pairing process is completed. To reset the fan to universal operation mode and to clear any paired remotes from the fan's memory, ensure the dip switch in the remote is set to zero. Disconnect power to the fan for a few moments, then restore power to the fan and press the pairing button. After a short moment, the light and fan will activate to indicate the reset was successful. The on-off button toggles the fan function. Upon each startup, the fan will automatically calibrate the blades with a gentle back and forth movement to ensure they will consistently run in a balanced and energy efficient manner. The plus and minus buttons allow you to increase or decrease the fan speed while the fan is toggled on. The comfort breeze button toggles comfort breeze mode, a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher speeds. Setting 1 alternates through speeds 1 through 3, setting 2 alternates through speeds 1 through 6, and setting 3 alternates through speeds 1 through 9. The timer button turns the fan and light off after a certain amount of hours have passed. You can select a 2 hour, 4 hour, or 8 hour delay. The reverse buttons change the direction of the fan rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be toggled on before changing the direction of the blade rotation. The light button toggles the light on or off. The dimmer buttons allow you to increase or decrease the luminosity of the light. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. If you want more details or have any questions, call the number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.